Hello, here we have a 1986 Boston Whaler 17 Dauntless. Exterior walk around of this vessel. This gel coat is in excellent shape, even underneath. Boat's been kept on the trailer. However, when he does use the boat, he has it forklifted in and out at a local marina. The sides are beautiful. There's no fading, there's no corrosion. Back here you have a swim platform, swim ladder that was added on. And you have a transducer that was mounted at the transom. Here's your penetrations of the swim platform. That's for the new Garmin. Here's the engine transom brackets. It's a Yamaha 90 horse. Still has another year left to the warranty. Here's where an old uh, transducer was mounted. But was never kept in the water. Here's the uh, port side once again. Gel coat in beautiful shape. You see, there's been a little difference in the shade right here. Maybe, maybe you can see it here. Obviously, there was a little gel coat work done, so the gel coat is off just a shade, maybe right in this area. Nothing to be concerned about. It's just on the sides. Nice, smooth. Not a chip in it. There's not a chip in this boat. There's not a stress crack in this boat. Way down low, there might be some scuffing of the keel. Well, that's common down here in Naples. People like to go to the beach. Interior, all the non skids original. Besides the normal dirt, there's nothing wrong with this interior. Nice teak deck right here. Teak hatch. Updated cooler. It's got the original cushions, it looks like. Console looks like it used to have a bracket here. They filled it in with bolts. The landing post, probably original. It's in great shape, no tears. The wood is in great shape. It's ready for some teak oil. Same here with this little hatch. Ready for some sanding and teak oil, but not bad. At the transom. The bilge pump bails out that well right there. And dumps it out through here so there is a penetration here and one screw hole there the new Yamaha engine is was put on a, a few years ago you can see the old bolt holes at the bottom of the splash well they've been filled in with 5200 okay here's your above ground gas tank with a built-in gauge Supposed to hold 24 or 27 gallons, I'm not sure which. It's got a real simple dashboard. It's using a multifunction Yamaha gauge. The engine has 120 hours. We verified it with a computer. Navigation lights, accessory switch, a power outlet right there, a filler. Here's the new Garmin, the GPS fish finder. Here's the new shifter controller that went with the engine at the time of the engine install, along with the key switch. There's also a stereo. A stereo cover, <laughs> no stereo. Inside the console, I don't know, it's probably dark in there. Let's see what we got. 
look for me. It's got the hydraulic steering, which is nice. I forgot to tell you. The steering is real nice and smooth on this boat. The console is securely fastened to the deck. There's no movement. This opens up for more console access. A better shot of the wiring back here. It's basically a, a Yamaha harness that comes up and then you have your, your, your cables that come off of that and your Sea Star hydraulic helm and brand new hoses. There's your fuel filter down there. Floors are nice and solid. There's no soft spots. I'm walking around it. Just a little dirty from the storms. We've had a lot of rain lately. No soft spots whatsoever. And no, no stretch cracks either. Okay, there you have it. Talk to you later.